Hello guys, welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Alzan Adela. And on today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create this church flyer, a church type of flyer. So let me just zoom in so you see where. So this is what we are going to be creating. This is not too hard, so we'll be fast about it. Yeah. So Please do don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel at Azana Adela. Click on the subscribe button and make sure you turn on the notification bell so as to get alerts anytime I drop a new tutorial. So guys, we'll just go straight into it. Yeah, this is the document we are using. So I'll just create a solid color. like so and after then I would like to bring the images the images are not retouched so there's nothing special that is the clarity of the image from the beginning so there's nothing special about the image so I'll just bring them and just drag them so I didn't do anything I just let me show you that there's nothing that was done let me drag them one by one so you see it's just a normal image I just so I just did that's what I did to them like so 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 I just want to make sure that you see that there's nothing special about it so we just want to give them that gap yeah so probably we'll bring this down a little bit so that it will show fully yeah like this is okay so after that I felt like retouching I say retouch felt like just adding curves to it probably to brighten it up a little only the image so clip marks so brighten that can give it contrast a little bit sometimes the images are very good very sharp so after that what else I'm going to now bring my but before I bring my background, I'll need to create a shape like so. So I'll change this color to something darker like this. Yeah. So after then, what I'll do is I'll I'll then bring my what do you call it? Okay, after doing that, I'll create a layer mask. Then I'll just use my gradients and paint on the layer marks like this. Make sure it's set on black, please. So X to switch to black. So just do like this, something like this. Do it again, like so. To so get what looks good for you something like this okay so what i will do next is just to go to my file and pick the grass background then place here after placing it here what i want to do is change this to soft light yeah so when you change the soft light you can just look for which pattern if it looks good for you so i feel this okay so I'll create a layer max also I use my grid and this up part I want to fade it a little bit I don't really like that yeah something like that should be okay so let's see what next after this process so we'll just bring our leaves this is a very simple design so I want it to be as fast as possible I don't want to take too much of your time so We'll just separate this. I'll just drag this and um, select only this. So I'll rasterize this layer so I can cut them separately to so be separated. So I'll drag this one here, probably reduce the size. But before then, convert it to smart objects. So we'll drag it here, then reduce the size. 
and something like this then put this one up here reduce the size like so yeah something like this is good so I will increase this one a little bit a little bit yeah a little bit curve so what next is what so let's check after that our text is the most simple thing in this design so this design is just so simple i don't know Maybe it's called the text, but there is nothing big about the text. So I'll just drag the text and show you how everything was typed and explain to you properly because there's no big deal about it. So this we celebrate our so this is just a normal month red size is 15. The gap spacing is minus 50 and that is all to that and the color is this sorry the color code is this so the next thing is intercessor the intercessor i use the gradients for it no not this one this is this but this one this is this yeah the one here so it's just a normal stroke of the fill and add stroke to it yeah the stroke should be around one or two i guess it's two one yeah that is one so that's good so this other intercessor is it's a gradient overlay i added to it but don't worry i'm going to give you the psd file so you can always see all this stuff how to generate a good gradient like this so it's going to be handy for you guys i'll drop the psd file and these are postally covering let me show you it's monster red black the thickest and minus 50 the space gap the spacing and 15 points for the size the hand is just regular and everything remains the same so the color for both is this so that is the color code so that is how we came up with that that part so the sixth which looks somehow good so i'll just show you the font that was used is mongoose font if you don't have it you can download this free fourth spring mongoose regular just type mongoose fonts on google you will see the fonts so that is just the font and the same gradient was used for it the same gradient i used for the intercessor was used so that is the same thing i used there so same with the december but let me show you the font the font is bloodbass new so that is the font used for this and the same gradient was used and my 2021 was Beba's new and everything here so and this was the same gradient overlay was used and that sums this text up like these are just normal monster right, if i'm not mistaken okay mirror mirror pro and these are the settings and this is the color code for that so no not to waste the time i'll just go and pick the lights probably let me see where the directions of the light okay it's one direction so i'll just pick the lights and just drag and drop so i'm giving the material i used i'm giving the psd file so there's no cost to bother so 
change it to screen and just put it somewhere here then duplicate ctrl j then put the other one here but reduce the size call this where the church logo is going to be so let me just carry the church logo so i'll just drag it here so let me put it on the church logo no it's covering it so i'll put it down i guess it should be up it should be up so i'll put it up yeah something like this is okay so what i want to do is after doing all this what we want to do is now see if you should leave your design like this it's not bad but it's not looking sharp it's looking like all this dull so one thing i advise you people is this i advise people is always do or call final adjustment final mastery master adjustment it's not i just add some levels to your design see it brings that depth and hide some increase the light a little bit add some vibrance to it i'm not following that part now i'm just showing you teaching you something on my tutorial i want to, to learn something practical not just copy and paste see add a little bit of all these tweets see now the depth is, is showing it's bringing out more depth let's add this to 15 so just compare now before after so now it's looking more like this even though it's not like this because of the color option I added to this and the coffee so I'm just going to add drag the coffee the coffee is in the folder here material use folder so I'll just drag it here and change it to soft light so. there is soft light for that let me see okay it's normal sorry so reduce it to like 40 thereabouts so so now once you open this master adjustment so you see what is inside there's no much thing inside it was pixel juggler inside property this is levels now for crying out loud so i guess they use pixel juggler to do the adjustment so let this picture juggler open if you want the picture juggler it comes with the array research academy so if you need to research academy you just DM me it goes for a low price yeah just DM me I'll tell you what you need it's not our cost so touch academy is just for photo researching and color grading probably so I'm just waiting for this but if it doesn't come up I will just continue with what i'm doing so but this is the idea behind the old stuff so it's not something serious like it's as simple as this this is one of the simplest design ideas it's just you know in the background to use knowing how to just maintain your color down over mix the colors and stuff like that so i can decide to drag this text and this light and the logo let me just drag them let me drag let me drag them like here yeah. so i'll not carry that intercessor and drag back up like so so it looks more balance this way probably we can even bring our leaves out a little bit sorry not that this other leaf 
So this looks more better to me. So that is it guys. Let me see if my rotation this thing will work now. Well, no. That is not my rotation. Rotate view. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. That's all for today. Catch you guys later. So as usual, before I go, don't forget to subscribe if you are a first time I'll drop your comments let me know what you feel about the design let me know what design you want to see next we are one community we are one family and thanks for those that voted for this design to be done this was what I left kept on the design on my youtube channel I posted on my community section in my youtube channel so I said vote for the tutorial and PS if I you like to see this we can cover at party flyer, church flyer and so on. So the vote that had the highest vote was a church flyer. If you go click it you will see that the church flyer that the highest this was the second cover art and this was the third. So earlier today I dropped the PSD file for this cover art and now I'm giving the I just did the tutorial for this. So you can check out this video to pop up and watch it out uh, and you can download the PSD file free of charge and also this church player I'm dropping the video now you just watch the video sorry <laughs> so thank you guys catch you guys later peace